Welcome back, Achievers, to a, like, bre a breakdown of a showcase that we just watched, Summer Games Fest 2022. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across me digitally, of course, is Alex. Hello, my fellow heathens. Okay, all right, heathens, I, I like that. No, 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 no. I, appreciate, I appreciate it. The, I, if you're clicking on this video... Let's be honest. You, you've sinned a few times. You've sinned a few. Right, let's, right. let's all be honest. Let's mm -hmm, all be honest. If you're mm -hmm. if you've made it to this part of the internet, we've done shady things. Anyways, yes, we have. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to be breaking down the Summer's Game Fest event that Jeff Keeley just did a couple hours ago for us. Mm -hmm. For you, it could have been a day or two. Um, Alex, mm. we're gonna break down the whole show. I want. And we're, we're even going to go game by game. I'm going to get pretty minute in detail, but first off, I want your full opinion, and we'll give a full kind of overlog at the end of the show. But I want kind of, what are you, what are you coming off of? What are your fresh thoughts? What did you think of the show overall? Mm. Tell me. So, my thing with this, it, was, it started out strong. Yeah, I agree. And then we got towards a certain part in the show and we're like is this still going and then i got to the point to where like do i need to watch the rest of this or can i stop yeah so that that's yeah yeah that's Go, my issue um but over like overall i mean there were some highlights and you know there's some exciting things but like i feel like it's it's it stayed oh it, it, it stayed over as welcome I think it stayed for far too long. This yeah. didn't need to be two hours. I'll Overstayed be honest, well, this probably word. could have been an hour. Let's be honest. Yeah. This probably yep. could have been yep. an hour. I understand it might not be financially benefit for Jeff Keighley and all the people he employs and such. But mm -hmm. I have, I, I, if you want a you know, a good product is probably what's most important. And a lot of this was, let's talk, let's show this game. Let's take, let's get, let's get the guys out. Let's talk with them. All right. What do you, you know, what, let's tell us a little thing. Let's have a, like a quick one-on-one -on -one and then, all right, get out of here. Let's do that with another game. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Go get out of here. You know, like there was a pacing, I feel like issue. There was a way too long issue. Uh, mm -hmm. I did not feel like this respected my time at all. After a couple points, I, Alex, I have to agree. I want to say around an hour and a half. I was like. What, what time is it? I've been watching this for an hour and a half. Is this almost over? Yep. Like, I, I shouldn't... That should be the last thing that should be happening in a showcase. Mm -hmm. For um, sure. So, I I will say, I'm at... I'm, to be honest, I'm a little surprised. My expectations were mm. pretty low. And it still was worse than that, unfortunately. I didn't... Aside from a couple games, uh, there are a few standouts, like you said, but if you lump them all together, I, I think this was pretty bad. Yeah, and it's a shame because there. this is what we have, right? We have this. We already had a state of play that was pretty. Good. That was really good. We had a. We've had a show about that. If you want to, of course, that's live on all of our stuff. If you want to go listen to our thoughts on that, that was really good. I think that was a good example of a very quickly paced that respected my time. It was very fast. We we taught, we showed game trailers and we got out of there. Whereas this is we show a game trailer. All right, let's bring the devs out. Let's talk a little bit. Okay, all right. Let's do something. Okay, now that here's the next game, you know, yeah, a lot, lot of issues. Alex, mm. let's just we'll go game by game and we'll kind of give highlights throughout, and then we'll kind of put a nice, pretty bow on it at the end on the actual show. So we start with Street Fighter Six, of course, developed and published by Capcom, uh, projected to release next year at some time. I'm very excited about this. They showcased Guile. A uh, very prominent character. I know, Alex, you asked, who is that? I uh, don't blame you. Mo if you don't play Street Fighter, I mean, you, yeah. you know, you don't know this guy. But, uh, you know, he's pretty, he's a bigger character. He's been in the games almost since the very beginning. So, uh, he's, a pretty, he's a pretty cool character. I'm, I, that was, I was, when that started, I was like, ooh, this might be a really good show. Because if you're, if you're opening with Street Fighter 6, you might have some bangers, like, throughout the show. Mm -hmm. Uh and that's when you know and a couple games in we start slowly going down like oh that was your 
you only had a couple big ones and that's kind of it but yep. um i'm excited for street fighter 6 that's one game that i looked at i was like wow yeah that, that's a that's a good get and this looks really good and i can't wait for more but it's one of those things where they don't have much to show so all they had really was look at guy all right bye <laughs> like that was kind of right, that was kind of it was pretty quick but yep. hey you have any i know you probably don't have anything to say do you no, because I've I've never been a Street Fighter guy. Yeah, I so get like, it. I don't. I didn't even. I mean, it looks cool. I like the. I mean, I'm surprised that it's doing the RE engine. So yes, it it's is. Inter- it's interesting. It's interesting. So I can see the. I can see the art style today. It's changed. I mean, it, it looks cool. Wow. I mean, I give it that. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely see more when we get closer. Most likely, I I, I can't imagine this will this will probably release maybe holiday of next year, maybe a little sooner. Uh, Alex, yeah. I, I I thought of you when I saw this Alien Dark Descent, kind of like oh. a top-down shooting, uh, t- uh, Tindalus Interactive and Focus Entertainment uh, Publishing, uh, projected release date of next year at some point. Uh, mm-hmm. Does this uh, you you just got an Alien game? Does this uh, are you getting too much Alien or or no, as soon as you saw this, you were like, oh, I'm excited? No, no because it's different. Uh, the other one, you know, first first person co-op, you know, of course. Yeah. Uh, but this one is more of a top down, you know, the arts, uh, the art style is a little different, different story. So I don't mind it. I like that they changed. It goes from first person instead of first person. It's just going to be third, uh, the top down and I, more arcadey, more indie. Very and arcade-y, I, I, yeah, I, yeah I, I enjoy that. So I'm excited for this for sure. Yeah, me too. I This will probably be a, a must pick up as long as it. Um, yeah, you uh, know, I'm an alien correctly. Yeah, yeah, you're the Aliens guy, of course. Uh, next up, as soon as I saw Striking Distance Studios, I kind of lit up. I was like, okay, okay, we get to see some more of them. We saw them at the State of Play. We see them here as well. Callisto Protocol, of course, like I said, uh, being developed by Striking Distance Studios. Uh, release December 2nd of 2022. We'll see if they make that. I'm skeptical, uh, to say the least. Uh, it looks great. It's Dead Space. This is actually one of the few games mm-hmm. we actually see gameplay of. This is... Uh, uh, I guess uh, the kryptonite of a lot of these shows is they just stop showing gameplay at some point. I don't know why. I don't know why we decided that, but uh, we just don't see gameplay that much anymore. And this is one of the few games where we got to see what the game looked like. He well, kind of walked around. I mean, it's Dead Space, but you got some cool kind of gravity power or something he had. That was cool. It was yeah. It's a gra- it's like a gravity. I think it was like a gravity gun. I think he, they were saying it's like a he, weapon. He said so. He said it was a gun, but it looked like he used his hand. So I was kind of confused. Maybe it's maybe it's something on his hand that maybe he's doing it. Maybe. Or maybe that's how yeah. he controls it, but it is a gun. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. Know. But it it looks really cool. I'm kinda glad. Uh if it does hit that date, I'm very excited. Like if it hits December second, boom. That's really good. And it kinda yep. helps out it kinda oh, helps yeah. out this year because this year's been kinda weak uh, uh, for a year, I'd say. So that might mm-hmm. kinda color in an otherwise pretty great year. But I can't wait. Horror fans rejoice because you guys are going to be fed this year with this Resident Evil. We're going to be talking mm-hmm. about another game here soon. A couple other games, actually. Uh, but uh, next up, Alex, I, I think probably. Probably one of the best games they show in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, of course, developed mm. by um, Infinity War published, of course, Activision Blizzard. Uh, release date October 28th, 2022. They actually revealed that a couple days prior to this. So I think we covered that in last week's show. But. Alex, uh, looks like Call of Duty. I want to bring this up. I kind of tweeted this out because I was kind of live tweeting the show as it was going. Mm-hmm. Interesting choice that they showed off a takeover of a ship level that is identical to the takeover ship level in the first game. Right? That's kind of yeah, weird. I will, at first, I thought it was. <laughs> so I was like, felt I, I, I got confused. So I was like, wait yeah is this in modern warfare 2 and i had to double check myself i was like no this is the first level in modern warfare 1 why does this mm-hmm. look the exact same so i was very confused now maybe can correct me if i'm wrong Alex. i don't think there was a level like that in the remake so maybe that's what's mm-hmm. happening here May- so yeah, maybe I- that I- level I is remember. in this one Maybe because I don't remember that in Modern Warfare One. I don't remake. either. Because I remember in the original Call of Duty Four Modern Warfare, you that's you the first the, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's the you first the level. training, you know, and yeah. then the level was that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember that. So maybe that's why they did it. It's more. It's supposed to be hinting back more of the original. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, because we do have the people together. We have you know. We have soap. We have ghost. We have gas. We have price. A couple other people. The, I'm probably and, forgetting. And, and then we got some new people. Yes, I don't remember them. If you remember them, let me know. But I, I we have 
Uh, we, have, we of course, have the name. character from Marvel for one. I don't remember his name. I do like him very much, but I am struggling to remember his name. Uh, so, it's But overall, I mean, it looks like Call of Duty. It looks great. Uh, the shotgun, I will say the shotgun very very much felt, felt kinetic. Like when he shot it, it mm-hmm. kind of shook the screen very satisfyingly. So I was like, okay, yeah. all right. So if, if, if that's something kind of new that you could bring to the table, that when I feel like, you know, when you shoot a shotgun, it kind of rattles the screen and I really feel that. Because when he was shooting that thing, it really did feel like there was a giant fist being hurled at people and you could feel like the momentum being transferred to them and falling back. So that was satisfying. But at the end of the day, you know, it's Call of Duty. So yeah, so we have, of course, we have the original price. We have Ghost, and then we have Soap McTavish, right. and then the two new ones we were just Kyle Gas Garrick was just um, Gaz he's, is, well, we knew Gas, right? He was he's from season four of Modern Warfare uh, in Warzone. No, no, Gas was in the original series. Uh, it says he is. Let's see, Garrick is naming Gas after the campaign's events. He was in the campaign, and then you can find him in season four. So maybe he was in the Modern Warfare one re- He wasn't from the original. I think he's from the remaster. Maybe no, he's he's from the original games. Yeah, Gaz. Okay. And then then we have the new guy. This guy's new, Colonel Alejandro Vargas. That is, yeah, that guy's new. Yeah. Okay, the new edition. Okay, so he's the new, only new one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There should only be one new one. Okay. But um. Yeah, I don't remember Gas. I don't. He's not a major character. Gotcha. he's like he's like the support guy i think you play as him in one mission maybe it's been a long time yeah uh, then we get a game that i feel like we were supposed to know but i doubt many people did know flashback 2 uh developed by microids coming out winter 2022 uh alex this is apparently uh around the 90s uh a game called flashback was released mm-hmm. and they're making a sequel to that game it seems like this game has had a couple games in its uh lifetime and they're making a sequel to it after almost tw- like 30 years almost i think it's, i think it's been like 20 i think it was 1995 when the original one came out or something like that maybe even a little okay. later but that was cool it's cool to see but i definitely don't think it popped like they thought it would because it it really no. did feel like we were all supposed to know what it was and i don't i mean i really doubt many people knew what that was maybe maybe yeah. there's a flashback audience out there but i don't know it yeah, I've never even heard of it. I was me like, either. what is Flashback? Me either, but we are young, so maybe that's the issue. <laughs> Witchfire, uh, developed by the Astronauts. Uh, this one looks really cool. This is one of those games yeah. where we didn't see a lot of, but we did see some concrete gameplay at least. A really cool kind of gun. Remind me of the Devil Gun from Supernatural and like the first like two or three seasons that they had. The Demon Killing Gun. That looked a lot like that. Uh, but that looked cool. Mm, gotcha. Um, I don't really have too much to say other than like because it was there wasn't much shown other than like you know you could shoot demons, but it looked cool. Look like it looked yeah. very much Doom focused, which that, that's what it looked like to me. And like I was gonna say, it looks a lot like Doom. Right. Definitely. Uh, Fort Solace, uh, another Dead Space game, <laughs> uh, developed by Fallen Leaf and uh, Black Brecker uh, Games looks cool it definitely looks like uh dead space though like it looked basically like the same thing so nothing bad about it uh i don't have too much to they didn't really show much but it looked cool yeah they definitely said they even said because troy uh baker and uh robert oh, the this guy is the game they came out and were like <laughs> oh we're just- he's the uh, he's plays arthur morgan in red dead and um, they were coming out. They were like, "Oh, we're in a new thing together." And I was like, "They were like, oh yeah, gives you that Dead Space vibe." I'm like, "But we're getting Callisto." So I was like, "I don't know." Yeah, the, the, it must suck for them because they're they're like, "Oof, they, we have to like come out after Callisto." And you're gonna yeah. be you're gonna be shown against Dead Space remake and Callisto. Like that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck when you're compared to those two masterpieces. Or sorry, one masterpiece and the other one we don't know if it's good or not yet. Um, yeah, uh, I am excited to see more, but. Oof. It, it, it sucks that you're coming right around Callisto and Dead Space Remake. Mm-hmm. Routine is up next. Um, made by Lunar Software. Apparently this game has been in development for 10 years. 10 years. Oof. And it is sh- debuting yet again. Uh, didn't show much. It showed like this weird kind of... I don't know. Compute, not computer gun, but it had a little screen on it. It came out and it was very quick. And uh, it seems like a kind of prey-ish bioshocky kind of game I, I don't have too much to say about this one yeah outriders we're getting the long rumored um dlc world slayer 
of course developed by people can fly it looks cool wasn't really super into outriders so i can't really say my thoughts on this i know a lot of people do like outriders and i'm sure a lot of people will come back to this yeah i couldn't get i couldn't get into it fall guys season one is coming it's free to play this is just a hey reminder wear a thing kind of thing uh, mm -hmm. so remember it's i believe free to play near the end of this month i think uh as a reminder media tonic of course develops stormgate this is the this is when in the alex this is when the this my hype was starting to die i was starting to kind of get yeah, antsy around this one this was this. this was and you know i hate to be that guy that this was really bad this this game the way it was shown i was like this is really bad this is if just to remind the uh, uh the achievers um there was like this mech that had a gun and it was shooting demons and it was protecting this girl i believe or this woman and then like they kill the demon and then you find a bunch of other demons and then it ends and they're like stormgate uh developed by frost giants uh there's gonna Go be on. an open beta next year but i when i this is when it was starting to hit me like ooh. That looks terrible, and I'm starting not to feel this anymore. Like th this is starting to feel kind of bad. Like let's let's kind of get some. And this is kind of when it doesn't really get get good again. Like I don't think, I don't really think it really goes uh, quite as high as as the previous uh, announcements. Yeah, I, Stormgate. I was just like, <laughs> why did the demon look a lot like something off of Destiny, like Oryx or some shit? It 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 it, it did kind of look like it will just look like a generic demon. Like Alex, if you close your eyes and I say picture a demon, you picture that. You picture was, a gray thing with wings and a horns. That's so I like. immediately thought of the de almost the demon off of uh, Demon Souls, the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost thought of that. Yeah. High Water is up next. This one looked very pretty. This is uh, uh, developed by Demagog and Rogue Games. I believe they're publishing. Rogue, uh, Rogue Games is the publisher. Uh, looked very nice. This is one of those games though that we saw, and if you blinked, you missed it because it was it was up and it was gone. So looked really nice, very calm game. It reminds me of the kind of you know walking simulator esque game. Nothing much else to say for me. Um, American Arcadia, I'm very excited for. This looked very cool. This is developed by Out of the Blue Studios, a great name. Uh, this was a very... Uh, what was that one game that was about like... It was like Aliens. I don't know. I, I can't quite remember, but it looked, it looked very nice. It kind of looked like that far away third person... It, almost inside type uh, look. Oh, God. Uh, what, what was that? I don't, I, I, don't I think I know what you're talking about, but yeah. I don't remember. Limbo, kind of, not, you know, not really limbo, but it, it, it reminds limbo. me a lot of in, uh, the game Inside, where yeah. um, where you're kind of far away and you're pivoted at some scenes and you're and they're walking along. Mm. It looks cool. It looks creepy. It reminds me a lot of uh, the f uh, feelings of um, Compulsion Games made it. Alex, uh, uh, people had to take drugs. To be happy. happy. We happy few. We, we happy few. Thank you. Looked, it had that aesthetic to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Goat Simulator 3. Probably the funniest way of debuting your game is... Oh God, uh, dude. I don't know if this was lost on a couple people. I'm sure uh, a lot of people got it, but I'm sure a lot of people didn't. Know, right? uh, so game uh, Goat Simulator 3 opens with the, a reenactment of Dead Island 2's trailer... Which technically is still in development somewhere, which I believe is at THQ Nordic. Do you, do you think? Do you really think so? Do you really think so? At this point, I'm I'm probably gonna say that it's, it's not probably dead. I think someone has some renderings up, so technically, yes, it's still in development. Will we ever see it? Probably not. Um, I believe they canceled. I think I saw tweets that GameStop was canceling the pre-orders for the game. Really? I think so. Yeah. Just because they didn't know. No. They were, yeah, we don't know. We don't know Wait. if this is gonna come out. No, no, no. I think this was. Um, sorry. I think that was Prince of Persia. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Prince of per that was Prince of Persia. Sorry, they're delisting it. Um, the the game isn't canceled, but the uh, GameStop is like. Tell people to come get their money. We don't think this is coming out. That's literally what they yeah, said. Uh, sure. I read I read that on Twitter by uh, I think uh, Wario sixty four tweeted that out. I think yeah. uh, Goat Simulator three comes out fall twenty twenty two, so relatively soon. Uh, I don't have too much to say. I'll, I'm not going to play the game, but the trailer was uh, hilarious. 
No, it was, yeah, it was hilarious, but yeah, I don't see myself no, I'm not paying that either. I don't nah. Marvel's Midnight Suns is up next, uh, d- mm. developed by Fire Axis, coming out October 7, 2022. Uh, this is the XCOM devs making a Midnight Suns game. Alex, um, mm. I tweeted something about this. This is the game that everyone wants with gameplay that no one does. I don't think anyone oh, really dude. wants to play this game with cards. I think we all want to play a Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Alliance-esque gameplay. Mm-hmm. And they're giving us this kind of turn-based card game, dude. and no one wants that. And unfortunately, <laughs> this, you know, I don't think this is going to be very good. And I, I think there's a reason they didn't show the gameplay in this, was, because uh, yeah. I don't think that would have caused nearly as a pop. Um, it all looks cool. The aesthetic is sick. All, like all of them, Ghost Rider breathing fire on people, uh, mm-hmm. Venom like demoned out. Like that stuff looks cool. Yep. But when you have to like, like. You fucking play Yu Gi Oh! Like, it's like, uh, that's not gonna be as cool. It's not gonna nope, be as cool. Not at all. Next up, uh, Cuphead DLC. Will we ever, will we finally see it? Maybe June 30th, Studio MDHR, of course, is making it. Uh, Delicious Last Course looks amazing. It looks like Cuphead. I cannot wait for this to come out. I'm going to try and play it. Emphasis on try to play it. I want uh, to like it I, very much. I sucked at that, suck that, that game, so I probably i am not going to play it. I, I will try. I do not think I will succeed, but I will try. I very yeah. much want to try the game. It looks amazing. I love the art style. Yeah. Neon White World. Angel Matrix uh, being published by Annapurna June 16th. Okay, Alex, this was the demon plucked out of hell by God saying hey you can kill demons and you get into heaven which is a cool storyline um yeah it looks um if i remember correctly alex this was the kind of doom i'm parkour it's like first person kind of shooterish so mirror's edge kind of yes correct okay okay i actually want to give me that i want to that's what gives me that vibe I want to quickly look at a trailer just to make sure i have a good picture in my head because if i remember correctly i was pretty yeah. excited sorry achievers you heard that um yeah this okay yeah this is one where i'm like eh like i this looks kind of cool the i you know i need to figure out what the cards are about like I don't know that, this game will probably be on game pass this definitely does look like a game pass game um i do uh, not blame you that's probably where i'll try it uh is this it is only coming to switch and steam though so if it hmm. does come to game pass it won't be for a long time that's weird isn't it like just switch and steam i would try my hardest to get on consoles again that's a money thing though you know you do have to you know spend money to get on the consoles but i definitely yeah. would yeah yeah uh midnight flight express this is a game made by one person jacob uh dwiznell this is coming out august 23rd this is the kind of cyberpunky hotline miami type game top down yep. you know going room to room type thing demo out now if you want to try it out on steam uh and it's coming out Ooh, august 23rd okay. And it looks it looks cool. It looks like a lot like Hotline Miami. I'll definitely be trying this. Yeah. Well, oh, never, what? never played Hotline Miami, honestly. You know, it's a it's a good game. It's, do I yeah. do I demand you play it right now? No, no, it's it's not, it's not great. It's short though. Like you you know you don't have to spend too much time in it with it, which is kind of nice. Okay. Uh, we have Warframe up next. Duvry Paradox Digital Extremes, of course, uh, making Warframe. I don't have anything to say about this. <laughs> I, I don't do have not, Like, yeah. Cool. Moving on. Honkai Star Rail. Hoyo versus the developers. Uh, it looks cool. Um, this no, is one just... of those games where I hope it's cool, but it it reminds me of those games where you see at a conference and you're like, oh, I would play that, and you never actually do. You actually never do, yeah. And you actually never do. Zendless yep. Zone Zero. <laughs> I don't know what kind of name this is. This is made by Miho Yo, which are the developers of Genshin Impact. Looks cool. The aesthetic looks awesome. Gameplay wise, I couldn't tell honestly what was happening. I think it is a DMC like action game. Maybe, mm. maybe it's not. I, I couldn't really figure out what was happening on the screen. It looked, it looks cool though. Yeah. Alex, yeah, I popped up so much. Was, yeah, no, that last game, it was just, I like, when I saw it, I was just like, I kind of like zoned out on it. So I was like, nah. I did too. Uh, it, uh, like I said, once we passed, what was that game? I already forgot it. Uh, <laughs> once we passed Stormgate, I'm really kind of, 
Yeah. Checking my phone every now and then. Like, all right. Checking the time, petting the dog, playing with yep, the cat. Yep, yep. You know, I'm not yep. really paying attention because it's just lost all. In, I've lost all interest. You lost, yeah, for sure. I did pop up for this one, TMNT Shredder's Revenge. I am very, very excited for this game, Alex. This is being yep. um, made by Dutemo, Dutemo, and Tribute Games, uh, published by Tribute Games, I believe. June sixteenth, very soon. Very soon, in about two weeks, you'll be able to play it, not only on basically every platform, but also Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, you'll get the game uh, it w- included in your membership. I cannot wait. Alex, mm. you will be playing with me. I appreciate will you I? offering. Yes, you will. You will be... Cool. Uh, what are you? Not, no, you're not Michelangelo. You're... Uh, mm-hmm. you, you gotta know this. Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello. There we go. Donatello does machines, right? Yeah, I think yes. Donatello does machines. Michelangelo. Yeah, rocks. Don, yeah, Donnie. Donnie is the the techie guy. I don't. I don't remember um the song, but it's like I don't know. I'll, I'll have to remember later. Uh, <laughs> Humankind Amplitude Studios, published uh, by Sega. Nothing. I have nothing. No, I have nothing. I have literally nothing for this. Do you? Do yep. you? Cool. Moving on. No. One Piece Odyssey. ILCA is the name I got for it, uh, published by Bandai Namco. One Piece fans rejoice. Uh, If 1,000 plus episodes wasn't enough of One Piece, well, here you go. You have a whole game now. So enjoy. You have have more games. Uh, Next up, I'm not throwing that to you, Alex, because I know you don't care about One Piece. No, no, no. So Hackers 2 is up next, developed by Atlas. August 26th looks cool. It, uh, It has that atlas flare i'll say you know what i mean like it does Mm -hmm. if you can tell it's kind of like an atlas game looks cool i might try it again this is this is one of those weird things where like will i even remember this came out like i don't know alex you i surprised you surprised me and saying this is one of the games that you kind of got interested in metal hellsinger uh the uh being developed by the out writers i think the only reason why is because i really enjoyed the music now i kept trying to figure out how is this game gonna play? I downloaded the demo. I'm gonna give it a shot. I haven't tried it yet, but it's like a rhythm game, but like it's like a shooter, like Doom. So like, are you expecting me to shoot and rhythm at the same time? Like, yes. I, I I'm not understanding how you're supposed to be able to do both at the same I time. I think the demo will help you. I actually am very curious. Let me know next week. I wanna yeah. I wanna know your thoughts on this because I I don't know. I don't know how to answer the question <laughs> you just asked. It sound it, the way they described it is you are shooting to the rhythm of the music and mm. um I think reloads have something to do with that too. So like okay. as long as you're keeping up with the the rhythm, mm-hmm. like you'll kill stuff. I don't know. Weird, cause but because I'm a rhythms guy, I like I'm I like rhythm game guy. Like yeah. I like rhythm games, but like I just don't know like how I feel about this. I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Metal Hell Slinger coming out September fifteenth, twenty twenty two to PC, PS five, and Xbox Series X. Nightingale Inflection Games, developed by Inflection Games, early access July twenty seventh. Um, so this was shown off, I believe, in Game or Game Awards. It might have even been Summer Games Fest of last year. Uh, when it was shown off, it had this really cool CGI chair that really sucked me in. Um, but before they showed the game, they said it was a survival game, and I immediately went, okay, I don't care about this game. But the trailer yeah. was cool. Yeah. Uh, same thing. I don't care about the game. Looks cool. I, I'm not a survival guy. Uh, Alex, I'm pretty sure you're not either, so... Not too much about this one either. We're seeing a trend uh, in this yep. show. Not too much that we have to speak about. But Nightingale looks cool, looks fun. I will probably never play it. I'll yeah, call the other survival games. Yeah. This is something we can actually talk about, Alex. Saints Row is being shown off. Uh, developed by Volition and published by Deep Silver, August 23rd. So, Saints Row and I have an interesting kind of back and forth, I would say. I constantly want to know, is it good? And it constantly <laughs> refuses to show me the game. Every single time I see this game, it is about the fucking customization. Stop showing me the customization. Show me shooting things, because that is what I'll be doing the other 98% of the game. I will be killing things. Please, for the love of God, show me the gameplay. Please. All of the ones that we have that show gameplay are outdated now. 
the game is going to be in a much better shape than we would have seen on those other trailers. So please show me fighting things. I understand I can fly around the city. I understand that I can make some sort of weird cross between a vampire man, Van Helsing, and the Red Dead Redemption 2 guy. <laughs> I get it. Please show me what the game looks like. I want to like it. I love Saints Row. Yeah, like, Please. Just, give me like a, just give me like a mission. Just just one mission. You don't like, yeah, just show me, show me what the place fucking looks like. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. even know what the game, or sorry, the city very much looks like. So please just show us a little more. Stop showing us the fucking customization. If you want to, however, you can, as of right now, as of recording, as you're listening to this right now, you can go and um, download the character creator, and it will um, import to the game when it comes out. So that's kind of cool. I do... Uh, I do like when games kind of have fun little meta things you could do prior to the game. Mm -hmm. So that's I a little thing you can do. Alex did that. I should do it uh, just for fun. Um, so I might take a, a second tonight and do that. But uh, yeah, I just I'm, I'm frustrated with this game because uh, we're getting really close. And when you don't show a lot of the game, I start to get worried. So please, mm -hmm. get, you know, show me a, a little piece of the game. Show me a mission or something. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, developed by Fat Shark, September 13th. Alex, this looked pretty cool. This looked like something me and you might might enjoy. I very much uh, liked. Uh, you could tell the uh, physics doesn't work super right right now, of course, because it's in development. Because uh, I loved uh, someone had a big knife and they kind of like went straight down on someone's head, and their head kind of like popped up and fell off, which was very funny looking. But uh, it looks. It looks kind of cool. I love that Warhammer 40k aren't afraid to do all these different types of game. Because I believe yep. this is coming out soon. They have the uh, Space Marine game that they announced coming out. Like, I love that they are very versatile with what they do. I'll probably never play this, but it looks cool. I, it's well, I've, Every time I think of Warhammer, I always think of like, you know, like a Pillars of Eternity or something. But like, I never was expecting it to be a first person no no yeah they they every time they make a game it's so it's always something different you know i believe they have the strategy games too like yeah it's like crazy. it's yeah, it's always different it's in, i mean i i like that they do that yeah i respect I, I i love their kind of uh foray into games like you never really know what to expect which i enjoy yeah for sure next up layers of fear comes out um um uh i, I didn't mess this up alex it's called layers of fears so yeah, so it's yeah, it's called Layers of Fears. Normally, okay. they it's called uh, it's called layer, was it was layer, layer Layers of Fear I one think and so. two, right? Yeah, it was lay, Layers of Fear, like singular, yeah, singular this fear. Plural. And this is a plural one, yeah. This is technically the third game in the franchise. There was a one yep. and a second one, um, and of course, made by Blooper Team uh cool i mean hey ho again horror games it's I, I, five maybe i mean from the trailer it looks cool as far as i understand it seems like they can make these games pretty fast because they made the first and mm -hmm. second one relatively quickly and the, and this shows no sign of slowing down with quickly making a, a sequel to the second one uh yeah. using unreal engine 5 pretty impressive yep gotham knights is shown once again Developed by WB Montreal. Mm -hmm. October 25th, 2022 is when we can expect to see the game. Alex. Mm. I have them right here. Mm. I have a little pop figure. I believe my wife bought me this one. Okay. I think it was one of our anniversaries. She knows I like Nightwing very much. Mm -hmm. I'm getting worried. <laughs> it's For show, lack of a better word. Dude. Alex, I'm getting worried. Only showing Nightwing. First off, I don't necessarily care too much that they showed Nightwing again, even though they just showed him a couple weeks ago. <laughs> they just showed the man. They could have showed Batgirl or Robin, and you you know, you could have had a whole new gameplay look. But no, mm. we showed Nightwing. Cool. But the more I see the game, the more mm. I'm getting worried. I'm not getting more excited, which is unfortunate. Every time I see the game... My my face scrunches up a tiny bit more like, oh, no, please, please. Like, I do not. Alex, look at me in the eyes. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't want another Avengers. So please, for the love of Whoa. God, do Whoa, not give me be, another Avengers, please. You're going to be, gonna, you're gonna be a little upset. <sighs> please, man, don't let it happen. Please don't let it happen. 
Do you have anything to say? I th- this game is on and off between because because I'm I'm sure we're gonna like it when we play it, but like, and now and now I'm starting to get the same feeling that I did with um, Suicide Squad. Mm. I'm, I'm like I I don't know I'm a little iffy about this game, so it's I don't know it's it's one of those where like delay it. Once it yeah, let me play it because once it's uh, like I stop showing it to me. Like, it's almost there. It's like, what was the what was the release date? Prior. For, for Gotham Knights, what, what was the what was the release date? Oh, October twenty fifth. October. So, like, I mean, it's like right there. Like, <laughs> it's pretty I, soon. Like, stop showing it to me. Like, give it's, it a break. Yeah, I yeah, they have been hardcore because they went from not showing anything to to now we've oh, seen the game about three times in the last I want to say six months, roughly. I want to say that's about right. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm worried. I'm worried. I hope it's good. I really do. Mm -hmm. Everyone here that watched the show, the regular achievers, you know, I love my DC. It ain't looking good. Mm -mm. We closed the show with something that unfortunately leaked about four hours earlier. Not only has it continuously leaked, Alex, we knew that this was being made. Yep. Two years ago, I want to say now, maybe a year ago, uh, yeah. when it came with that giant PlayStation leak about their internal issues with Ben Studios and mm-hmm. Naughty Dog and all those things. So we already knew this was technically being made. But now we get further confirmation that The Last of Us is being remade. The first one, of course, being developed by Naughty Dog. September 2nd, 2022, we get a release date. And this is what they chose to end with now. I have many thoughts about this. S- many thoughts. Many. And, and I'm going to break them all out for you, Alex. Okay. I'm curious what you think. So, let's. I want to start with... W- the, uh, let's, let's stick with the showcase. I was about to divulge a little. Let's stick with the showcase. So, the showcase okay. ends with The Last of Us remake. Yes. They bring out Ashley Johnson. They bring out... Troy Baker. Troy Baker, thank you. Hey, you're going to be in the show. Oh, the show. Oh, here's a picture. Cool. That was all that. Honestly, unnecessary. Don't really care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I, re- I respect quick, quick looks. Hey, here's the show. Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson are, are here. Say hi. Hi. Oh, we're really excited about the game. Goop. All right. Get out of here. Like, uh, like yeah. let's make this quick. Like, we stick with that way too long. I, I, I am very excited for the show. I'm very excited for, uh, well, I wouldn't say very excited. I'm excited for the remake. Didn't need all that, though. So yep. that was even more padding that we didn't need. I'm already lo- staring at the watch at this point, Alex. Alex, the watch mm-hmm. is to my eyes. I'm like, any minute it's going to end. <laughs> any minute. Like, any, any, it's so close. Yeah. Um, uh, I've talked enough. I'm going to, we're going to talk about just Last of Us, uh, but I want to, I want to stick with, you know, the realm of the showcase and then we'll talk about the actual game in a second what are your thoughts on ending it it being leaked all that stuff um i mean the leak was kind of like meh like i mean me we already we figured as much it wasn't this big reveal i would have gotten more hype about it it was like if it was factions like it they did kind of like hint they had, about they had a piece of concept bar yes. that showed you they can't show yeah but like they like if that I mean, like, if more, if we had more detail about that, maybe, and if that was leaked, maybe, but, like, it was, it was fine, and then, it's I mean, ho- I, no, please, I, please, huh? please, I'm sorry, I interrupted, please, oh, no, you're good, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's Last of Us, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I just, I mean, we're all gonna be excited for Last of Us, I just feel like they just, like, it's just like, all right, come on now, <laughs> so it's hard to be subjective with this, uh, Achievers and you, Alex, because we've known about it for so long so i can't like it's hard to split realities in my head there is a reality Mm -hmm. that we never heard about this and we get to this point and boom we have last of us remake shown we have remade last of us it looks like last of us 2 it looks great blah 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 whatever yeah like they're like i can't really I do. I I think in the universe that we still don't know it exists, still mm-hmm. isn't super great to end your show on. Only because it is just a Last of Us remake. That is all yeah. it is, and it's nothing 
crazy because we've already had this game yeah. released in 20 uh 13 How many times we had the remake then we had last of us 2 and now we're having it remade again so this game this is now the third time this is released this will be included with last uh left behind so you know that's cool but alex yeah I, as a showcase place i i can't even pretend like i thought it was a good idea because you know it's been leaked so many times so i already knew it existed so it wasn't going to be a pop anyways yeah. um it was one of those it's inevitable so i'm not super excited the hbo thing was cool but again they couldn't show anything the yeah. faction things was cool but again they couldn't show anything so it it was a lot but, of yeah, what's the, like what's the point it was a lot of talk with no substance it was a lot of hey look at this thing but we don't actually have anything hey remember this is happening but we can't show anything so show anything, yeah. it was a oh it almost comes across as i don't want to say desperate because that's not what i mean but stretching you're stretching out things that you don't have yeah this reminds me of bethesda in 20 i want to say this was around 2017 2019 when they had their e3 when they had their e3 conferences and they didn't really have mm -hmm. anything to show so they kind of showed what they already had and then they announced the elder scrolls 6 tw t potentially potentially 15 years before it's going to come out like like that actually might be real it might not come out for another 15 years when they announced it so that's wild yeah that actually might be real it, it might not be it, it might be closer to 10 but still yeah it was a it, it, it it's a great way of encapsulating show it was a lot of showing or sorry it was a lot of telling but no show it was a lot of yeah. you know we have cool stuff we just can't show it and like i don't care then i'm sorry I, I don't care you shouldn't have come then yeah you know um but um it's kind of um pivoting to the game last of us remake because I'm, I'm curious what you think about this. This is kind of like a little, a little drama happening, of course, that it always does on the internet. Mm -hmm. The Last of Us remake is going to be coming out in two editions. It's going to be coming out as a standalone Last of Us remake included with... Um, edition. Sorry, I'm grabbing the edition so I don't get the second one wrong. So The Last of Us remaster is coming for okay. PS5. It is priced at uh, $69.99, so it's going to be $70. It comes okay. with Left Behind. It is a uh -huh. re-release of a re-release, kind of, if you think about it that way, right? Yeah. And people are kind of making a hubbubaloo on the internet. Why is this $70? It doesn't have factions, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can fill in the blanks with people complaining I mean, and things. What, from your point of view, first off, I don't know if I mean, you've looked at if you, I don't know if you've looked at the game. Different. I don't know if you've looked at the game or know the differences, but like, do you think what we see right now justifies seventy dollars? Yeah. Okay, you said that pretty quickly. Can you explain why? Why, why is it no, almost a no-brainer? Whereas everyone on the internet kind of wants to complain about it. What do you think? Be well, because the people who are going to be, I feel like this title is going to be for people who are just in that in that space for um like it's for the people who just love last of us like i mean how many times have we bought in kingdom hearts right i mean so like i feel like it's the, the people who would love last of us and i mean you could see that you know there is a big difference they they're using you know the same um the mocap like or the like what was it called uh, the, the way it looks like the characters and stuff like that like the the details it looks like last of us part two like everything, if you look a side by side then of Ellie and there's Joel, new models. yeah, new models. Thank you, new models. If you look at Joel's Last of Us Part One, uh, Part One original versus the one now, they look completely different. They, yeah. He looks like the one from Last of Us Part Two, so it gives it to where I feel like it's because when I uh, when I first played Last of Us Part One and then played Two, I got the sense of. Oh, they kind of look. They look very different. Like you know, I kind of. I at one point, I almost even thought I was like, "Are they the same people?" Mm. But you know, it does change. You know, with you know age. I thought of age, but you know, the graphics were different back then. Now they're making it to where like, oh, you know, they do look more similar to the, what they look like in the sequel, and I, I actually, I like that. Okay, thank you for explaining that. I think that's going to give important perspective to people out there. 
Yeah. I want to bring a couple of things to attention and I'm going to give my thoughts. Um, so I'm going to read the exact description on PlayStation's uh, direct homepage for Last of Us. Quote, Enjoy a total overhaul of the original experience faithfully reproduced but incorporating modernized gameplay, improved controls, and expanded accessibility options. Plus, feel immersed with improved effects and enhanced exploration and combat. The Last of Us Part 1 includes the complete Last of Us single player story and celebrated prequel chapter Left Behind. So, it has the gameplay of Part 2 pretty much. It has like the, the way It's it probably feels. going to literally play like Part 2. Yeah. Um, so I, Alex, long time ago, I have no way of proving this. I was a child, I think. I okay. always loved the idea. Um, I, and I got this idea when I played Kingdom Hearts 2. I was mm -hmm. playing Kingdom Hearts 2 and I would go back to Kingdom Hearts 1 and I had wished that they had re-released sequels with updated features from their new games. That's something I've always wanted. A couple yeah. of, a couple of developers kind of do that. They kind of fix... They, you know, they hear fans when they're like, hey, the, you know, the controls kind of suck. Can you update them? Like, yeah, we'll update yeah, them to this yeah. game. And it'll be better, blah, blah, blah. Yep. I enjoy that they are going back and they're saying, hey, let me back up. Let me full stop. Would I want Naughty Dog to do something else? Yes. Before I get into what I'm about to say. But we are getting this. So with all that being said, I'm happy that they are going back. They're doing a full, I mean, fuck, I mean, remake is probably a strong word. They're probably not doing that, but I mean, they're, they're polishing this baby up. This is going to probably look really great. This is probably going to look better than 90% of the games we play. Yeah. This is one of the, probably the best games ever made. And we're going to get it again. So I have no problem with them having me pay a premium. You know why? Alex, you know why? If you, I'm looking at first off, this fucking mm. cover art of this game is Dude. beautiful. Dude, you know how beautiful. hard it is for me to find this cover art right now, so I can get it as a wallpaper. <laughs> it's it's so, like I can't find it anywhere. It's gonna be probably up there this uh, tomorrow morning. But Ugh. but Alex, do you know why I have no problem paying seventy dollars? Because hmm. I look at this cover art and I look at the bottom right corner. Alex, what does that say? That says Naughty Dog. Hmm. Naughty Dog the the, have, have, the, like, have, have the made, best have, developer that probably has ever existed minus maybe nintendo and that's maybe it look. have they have they made a flop can you tell me that i think if you if you want to say a flop Everybody, you have to go back to like their original games i think their, their last, first game their last 10 games. years of games have they made a game to where no. it's bad no, I don't even then, think. I don't even think they've gotten past yeah, good. They have my trust and they have my money. So, like, I'm glad. I, I, I will <laughs> fucking. I know I sound like a little capitalist, Look, little scumbag. I, I will. I'm just saying. <laughs> I will gladly, happily hand them my money. I will. Oh, for sure, happily. So even, the, even the, my money, right, Naughty Dog on it. Just yeah, uh, yeah. There you go happy yeah like you'd have to but um like i was saying you'd have to go back to like i'm sure a couple of these crash games weren't great i don't know uh they made a bunch of dak and daster games uh mm -hmm. if you go back math jam sky craze dream zone keith the thief rings of power all these old 90 games i'm sure they weren't fucking changing the game back then but that's how far you have to go back they made crash bandicoot they made uh two and three of crash bandicoot Th those are like yeah. some of the best um Side scrolling games still ever play them to this day. Yeah, Crash Team Racing apparently is incredibly uh, good. I, I don't play it, but yeah. um, Jack and Daxter. People still complain about how good that was. I never want to see a Jack and Daxter game, but if they do do one, mm -hmm. you know, there you go. And, oh, by the way, they made Uncharted. And by the way, when they were making Uncharted, they made The Last of Us. What other developer do we have that we that even fucking touches that? While they were making Uncharted Three. They were making Last of Us. Those two games are like some of the best games ever made. Uncharted 3 is incredible. Last of Us, one of the best games ever made. And then they... Yeah. I know a lot of people disagree with this. But then they made an even better game. In part 2. How? And Neil Druckmann said he's working on a project. He's working on a project aside from the Factions game. 
Yeah, no, they they probably have an actual single player thing. I wouldn't be shocked yeah, if it's a, they even I, said we might get part three one day. I think we will. I think they want to make a new IP first. So I think oh, for I, sure. I, I think mean, hey, I'll I think give it a break. I, I think they're going to do this remaster. I think they're going to get yeah. factions out. I think there's mm-hmm. going to be a new IP, mm-hmm. and then I think we get part three that ends the series, and then yeah. you know they do whatever the fuck. And hey, I'd be fine with that because guess what? Whenever they announce part three, I'm gonna replay this remake. I'm gonna play part two on PS5 remake, and then go to that. Yep, I'll play part two re-release on my PS6, and I'll fuck, I'll eat it up happily. I'll be I'll like, thank you. <laughs> so I'll play it again. Yep. Important yep. to note, um, by the way, technically it seems the game is being, um, renamed. It is Last of Us Part One, so oh, it is it is technically so, being renamed. So it's being renamed, it, yeah. So it's Last of Us Part One, so not just is, Last of Us. Yeah, now it is now Last of Us Part One. So it is it is a tec- technically it is being remade, renamed. So it is yep. a new name for it to, of course, match Last of Us Part Two better. This is Part One, um, and do you do you like that? Yeah, it's a new way of saying stuff. You know. I'll be honest, yep. I fucking... I'm a bitch for Naughty Dog. I, I think I've made that clear for everyone. Yeah, I get it. I, I get kiss it. their feet. So, like, sure, you want to make part one? Sure, whatever. I don't care. I, I, I like it because... Yeah. Is it a little snobby? Sure. But it but it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Yeah. Um, also, they are making a Firefly edition for the game. Um, I'll be honest, mm-hmm. there's a lot... Uh, first off, again, with the fucking cover art. Looks so good. Um, so good. But uh, it comes with a bunch of... They make it really hard to figure it out. Sorry. Okay, yeah, there's a still book. You get... Oh, you get the American Dreams comic. That's cool. I don't know if you ever read those. They released um, a four-part comic series called American Dreams. Oh. Um, and you get a bunch of early unlocks. I'm not going to read all this, but the, you, you get a bunch of skills. You get a bunch of skins for the weapons, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, all in all, though, I am excited for the game. I do not care that it costs $70. I will happily pay that. I. It is, again, one of the best games ever made, so... Happily pay him 70 bucks because it looks incredible. Yep. I agree. Alex, closing thoughts. This is now closing thoughts for the show. Um, I will say I will say this as my final thoughts. Um, this did not need to be two hours. I understand. Definitely not. I understand Jeff probably needed to make money. I imagine a lot of these were paid show ups. A lot of these people were yep. paid. Or, sorry, a lot of these people paid Jeff to be here. So I yep. get it. But at the end of the day, this was, I think this hit the bad category. I think this was bad. I think it was way too long. I think Mm. we stood too long on games that we, you know, no offense, we don't care about uh, that are, you know, a little too, too, you know, who cares? I know someone out there probably does, but just not enough to to make it feel good. Not enough gameplay. I don't know why we're moving away from gameplay so much. Please show more gameplay. We only really got what two yeah right technically cuphead showed a quick level so like you know we kind of saw that but that's kind of it we saw callisto protocol call of duty and achievers i know some people will correct me oh you know alien dark descent they showed gameplay i want to see someone play like i don't want like quick snippets you know of polished segments of things i want like someone grabbing a controller and moving a character around like callisto protocol like call of duty Modern Warfare 2 yeah really we only got that with those two games and you can argue cuphead technically showed half of a level when they fought a boss so let's move back to gameplay i'm tired i'm tired of all this trailers with the cgis i understand this is a weak year this is i think this is pretty bona fide right now this is probably going to be a weaker year in games and this is going to be a weaker year in terms of like surprises uh i will say this i think i think this and alex i'll be curious um on your thoughts about this i think this almost puts more pressure on xbox but also makes it slightly easier because you're compared to a bad showcase yeah so, but but i think a lot of the hype gets moved not for me by the way i think the general audience a lot of the sure. hype a lot of the gamer hype i guess you could call it kind of moves over to xbox and I'm like okay well we didn't really get that much there so 
maybe this will be great. So I don't know if it really harms or hurts them, or maybe it's net tr- neutral. But uh, I think I think all it, eyes go to get Xbox now. I think it'll be a potentially a being neutral. Yeah, I think it will too. I don't think that many yeah. people are like, oh well, well, Xbox has to be good now. I think yeah. I think enough people go like, oh, you know, this is going to be great now, or people probably go like, oh, well, that was bad. That, you know, I'll be fine if this mm. is just good. But uh, final thoughts on the showcase, Alex. It was fine. Like I said, there was some really good highlights, but there was just too uh, a lot of poor ones that yeah. to make it to where it's just like I even think that's, it out to where it's just it was fine. I think that's well said. I think that's I think that's well said that it had highs, but far too many lows to yeah. even be in the conversation. That this was yeah. Like I wouldn't even say would have watched if someone asked like should I watch this? I would say no. Yeah. I would say now I would send them three to four trailers from this and be like, mm-hmm. you watch the showcase if you watch these these three or four games. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for chilling with us. That was a, almost an, an hour recap of the show. This was uh, fun to kind of break it down. We kind of discuss on what made it a what made it a bad showcase. Kind of broke down what we didn't want, what we wanted. You, Go ahead. I was gonna say, do you think Summer Gay Fest is losing its edge, or excuse me, not Summer Gay Fest? Jeff Keighley is losing its edge. His because uh, it used to be anytime we saw something about Jeff Keighley, we were like really excited. You know, he always brought in like his hundred percent. But lately, the last couple things, I don't know. I haven't been the best. I think it's so early with Mr. Jeff Keeley here to okay. to really kind of throw him out or anything. Let's not okay. forget, he did get Elden Ring multiple times. He got the debut of Elden Ring. He got the Elden Ring mm-hmm. gameplay footage for Game Awards. I will mm-hmm. say Game Awards sometimes. Uh, no, because I, I want to say the last Game Awards wasn't great either. I mean, I say it's a, it's a hard to it's hard it, to tell. Yeah, it yeah. With nothing in front of me right now to go off of like past stuff, I want to say I need he's been consistent up to a point. So this is a great question for the end of the year. Is Game Awards great? Yeah, that's all I was like. If mm-hmm. Game Awards isn't great, then yeah, I'm right there with you, Alex. Like, okay, you're starting to like. You know, I kind of made fun of you about the E3 tweet when you were kind of joking on E3. Yeah. You, you know, you got to ha- you have to back it up if you're going to talk shit, Jeff. If you're going to talk yeah. shit, you know, you got to back it up. And when you show me this, bro, I, you know, I, I don't like, I don't know. I'm not, you know. I'm not with you. So, like, bring the heat. Yeah. I understand that. And it's hard. I, you know, I'm not going to pretend like this man has an easy job. No, it's probably sure. fucking hard, you know, all yeah. these, all of these, almost every single dev I have mentioned here has yeah. another avenue of showing their game. Capcom has their own fucking showcase in a couple of days. I think the 14th, uh, something mm. like that. Um, Atlas, uh, was purchased by, uh, uh sega so like they have they can have their own thing you know there's a bunch of stuff where it's like uh by the way it is june 13 3 uh, 3 p.m pacific by the way is i can't think so like i imagine it's getting hard because people can just have their own showcases there's a reason i did not say devolver digital in any of this do you know why alex because Mm. they have their own showcase that they do Mm. there's a bunch of other people there's day of the devs that happened right after these you know that's technically in the summer games fest umbrella but it doesn't matter when you have something called summer games fest yeah but yeah alex uh, uh, to to summarize if it continues yeah if if we if we go to game awards and it's it's like this yeah i i have to join i have to join kind of the uh like jeff you gotta figure this out because yeah. now i'm now i'm now i'm getting weary also of course while it's game awards please let this year be about awards that'd be really nice <laughs> that'd be really nice i would like it to be about awards please come out because fucking a man i just want awards to be shown sometimes the rock is gonna come out with his next movie oh we didn't even talk about that the black adam trailer <laughs> i so it, <laughs> so that was really weird i sh- hey, shout out to the rock that dude is constantly grinding because that man halfway through by the way zao <laughs> like a fucking product placement and then he's like by the way i'm i i'm doing this other thing i'm in black adam oh well you know so 
That was yeah, hilarious. I didn't where it was going. I thought they were going to show something about Fortnite, but no, it was just something about I fucking... Did too. His, and then yeah, it was his was movie. I was like, movie. okay, so you just wanted The Rock, and this is how you got him. Like, you agreed to let him, like... First off, this man recorded it on his fucking cell phone. So, like, he didn't even have to go anywhere. He just went to his gym. It's probably fucking 8 a.m. where he is or something. He just poof, talked to his phone. Boom, millions legend. of dollars. So, but yeah, I, that was hilarious. There And there was a lot of, you know, that, that, that was one example of, like, what the fuck is happening? But, but yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Let's close this out. Um, we're getting long. But uh, I appreciate the Achievers uh, tuning in. Uh, let us know what you thought. Of course, in the comments below, we answer every single comment. So if you comment, we see it. So we will answer. Remember, tweet at us. All of our information is on the video. If you're listening to us audio at EVM9000, I crave it. Let's get here. We are open almost all hours of the day. All hours. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, five star review, and patreon.com slash achievers for support financially. We'll see you next week. Go, Chief. Go, Chief.